Today, let's talk about the AZ500, which is the Azure Security Engineer Certification. As engineers, we all know that we must continue to learn and grow in different areas in order to keep our skills up to date with such a changing environment. The tech environment changes very often and very quickly. And to keep up, we need to continue sharpening our skills, learning more and more. For myself, one of the next certifications and courses which I'll be taking is the AZ500 course. As I'm working as a cloud security engineer, I need to learn a lot more about Azure security and this certification can help me do exactly that. So in this video, I'm gonna be looking at some of the reviews on the AZ500 to find out how difficult is this exam actually? And through that, I can get a good understanding of what it takes to study for this exam, how I can pass this exam, and also help those watching to understand the difficulty of this exam and how they can pass also. I hope to take this exam within a few months time and I hope to pass first time. But before then, let's find out more about this exam. Please enjoy this video. Let's start by looking at some of the first things you see online when you search up the AZ500 and how difficult it actually is. So the first thing I see here is an article from Test Prep, which helps people to prepare for certifications, gives them resources on the certifications, and also just puts out, you know, the difficulty and an overview of the certification. And here's what they said about how difficult the AZ500 is. How hard is the Microsoft Azure AZ500 exam? The Microsoft Azure AZ500 is considered to be a challenging certification exam that tests a candidate's knowledge and skills in implementing security controls, managing security posture and managing identity and access in Microsoft Azure. The exam covers a wide range of topics including Active Directory, Azure Security Center, Azure Sentinel, Azure Virtual Networks and more. So it does seem really, really broad at this look. They're talking about a lot of different things here. They're talking about Azure Active Directory, which is now called Microsoft Entra. Uh, they're speaking about Azure Security Center, Azure Sentinel, and even Azure Virtual Networks. And there's obviously many more to add on to that. Now here they say the difficulty level of the exam may vary depending on your level of experience. I mean, this applies for any certification. I mean, if, if any engineer went and took the AZ900, which is the fundamentals, and they'd been working in Azure for like three years, they wouldn't even need to study. They could just go and take the exam and pass. And in this case, it's speaking of, if you work as an Azure security engineer already, and you wanna take this exam, it won't require as much preparation as if you don't work in that role or you wanna learn more about that role and have never had any experience in it. For those who are new to Azure security, the exam may be more difficult. However, with adequate preparation and study, including using Microsoft official exam study resources, practice exams, and hands-on with Azure security, you can increase your chances of passing the AZ900 exam. It speaks a lot about getting hands-on with the practical stuff to help you pass the exam. And this, once again, applies for any exam that you're gonna be taking in tech get hands on and you'll learn so much more than if you're looking at the theory and just trying to memorize stuff. Now, here's another article which I came across which talks about who should be taking the AZ500 exam. And it's very interesting because it reads here that the AZ500 exam assumes that the candidate already understands the Azure cloud environment products and services. So if you're new to cloud, you can still take this exam. However, it would be great to learn the cloud environment and take the Microsoft fundamentals uh, AZ900 beforehand. Because this will give you like the foundation and then you can go and take the more complicated exam. This is if you don't work in Azure or anything and you're just studying, doing that self-study, trying to get yourself into uh, a good position to get a role within uh, Azure or cloud computing. Go for the AZ900 first, get that foundation and then you'll understand so much more and be much more well prepared to take that AZ500. They also said that that being said, if you're already an Azure security professional, then the AZ500 is certainly up your alley. The AZ500 will expand your knowledge on the numerous security services provided by the platform before taking the exam. Ensure you possess intimate familiarity with concepts such as Active Directory, once again, known as Microsoft Entra now, SSL configuration, Azure Log Analytics, and much more. The AZ500 is not an entry-level certification. 
no surprises there because the AZ900 would be sort of the fundamental or SC900. AZ500 is not entry level, it's more associate level. However, if you're brand new to cybersecurity, then the AZ500 is an excellent long term goal. So it's not for the short term, it's not for now, but in the long term, it's definitely something to aim for if you're new to cybersecurity. So I think this little research that I've done has been really helpful in understanding the difficulty of this exam. I think it is quite difficult. It's not like an entry level exam that you can just go and study for a week and take. It does take a lot of revision and studying and hands on practice before you can go and take this exam, especially for those who have never worked in an Azure environment or in a cybersecurity environment. This is definitely an exam that you're really gonna have to go and study for properly before taking. And so for myself, I'm not sure how long it will take me to study for this exam. Having had some experience within Azure security, I'm thinking maybe a month or two would be sufficient, but that would be if I was fully on studying every day. And we all know that's really hard to do. So we'll see what time I will take to actually take this exam. In my head, I'm thinking hopefully before the end of the year, I'll be able to do that, but I might get distracted by the Christmas celebration. So I guess we'll see. Thanks so much for watching this video. Follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.